biofuel production using sugar cane can be quite significant because of its low cost and positive energetic balance. Discovering a source of energy to improve our environment and world has been an ongoing issue in recent times. According to the Journal of Energy Security, established on November 14, 1975, by presidential decree, pro-alcohol, was created at a time of great flux in the international sugar industry. The oil crisis of 1973 has sent gasoline prices soaring internationally and the Brazilian government decided to look to possible domestic sources of fuel production in order to insulate itself from the chaotic market. The program was aimed at blostering Brazil's national sugar economy by safeguarding the privately owned sugar industry. In Brazil, biofuel production has been an ongoing success for more than 40 years. Biofuel can be produced using wheat, corn, and sugarcane. However, sugarcane was the first product initially used because it could be easily converted into ethanol. One ton of sugarcane can produce up to 85 liters of ethanol. By taking sugarcane from the field and transporting it to a mill where it can be mixed, filtered, and distilled, Sugarcane can efficiently be transformed into ethanol in just a matter of 12 to 15 hours. Biofuel production using sugarcane is quite significant due to its low production cost and positive energetic balance. In other words, growing sugarcane absorbs more carbon than is emitted when the ethanol is burned as fuel, making it an efficient source of biofuel when it comes to environmental concerns. Being generated by photosynthesis, a process where light energy from the sun is captured and transformed into chemical energy, biomass can be the subsequent product which is then combusted to produce energy. When considering the environmental impacts of producing and using biofuels, there are both positive and negative aspects to consider. The use of biofuels is environmentally friendly in that it reduces carbon emissions from the atmosphere. This is because more carbon is taken from the atmosphere and used in the plant. It is then released by the main biofuel called ethanol when it is burned. This conversion process is also favorable to Brazil because the country contains expansive amounts of territory, abundant water resources, and solar radiation. However, there are also negative impacts on the environment as well. First, the expansion of sugarcane fields an unrestrained use of natural resources is causing excessive environmental degradation and deforestation. For example, the overplanting of sugarcane fields causes soil erosion and poor soil quality. Other problems include the depletion of aquatic systems, nitrogen pollution from fertilizers, and atmospheric pollution when the sugarcane is burned to produce biofuel. In general, biofuel production in Brazil through sugarcane can be a solution and a problem. This is why Brazil is a main contributor of biofuel production. So basically, it reduces carbon emissions. I wonder what it's like for those farmers in Brazil. When considering the impact of biofuel production in Brazil on the stakeholders, there are two that are impacted the most. Us, the sugarcane industry laborers, and then people like Pablo, Jose, Consuelo. Laborers in the sugarcane industry work in poor conditions. Sugarcane can be harvested manually rather than mechanically, which means workers are laboring in the dry months of May through October, causing conditions to be highly intensive. Long work hours and little pay. Then I feel like a slave. The smoke. It's killing my lungs. Burning the fields of sugar cane and in my lungs I can't breathe. Ain't nobody got time for that. And Uncle Diego passed this past week. We can't have this. All of our people are dying. Poor Diego. For Brazilians, there is a source of food insecurity. The production of biofuel is connected to hunger amongst the population. This is because biofuel is produced using wheat, corn, and sugar. The land that is allocated for biofuel cannot be used for food or to feed livestock. Referring to the 2008 hunger and bread riots due to ethanol production, Mark Linus, author of The God of Species, 
commented that burning food crops for power is the worst use of scarce land imaginable and has already led to a situation where there is a direct conflict between food and energy. I need this bread for my family. The spy bread. Give me no, my bread back. I need back. it. I need it. I haven't eaten in no, weeks. No, we haven't eaten in years. In years. Ah! To face this expanding market, the U.S. has considered removing their only ethanol tariff. However, by removing this tariff, it will distort international markets by encouraging overexpansion of Brazil's sugar industry and diverting grazing land to sugar production. This would cause a loss of land toward food production 